video is about the way I like to get from the airport to Vallarta. And I was just gonna show you the shark tank that you walk through after you go through customs and immigration. But um, they won't let me go in there. But I was going to say, when you walk through the shark tank, it says right after customs, you're gonna be walking through this room where all these taxi drivers and timeshare and all the shit, they're gonna want your attention. And I just say, blaze through there, don't make eye contact, look like you live in the in Vallarta and just go and they'll leave you alone. Don't engage if you wanna just get your trip started. And then you're gonna end up, when you leave the airport, there's gonna be like a hundred taxi companies that want to get your money. But this is the way I like to go to, this is a tip, a magical tip that uh, you'll get a cheaper ride in and you get to have lunch before you get to Bayarta. So I'm gonna show you what to do. When you get out of the airport, go left right away. See how busy it is? Total chaos. So when you leave the airport, you're gonna be smacked in the face with how hot it is. <laughs> That's normal, right? And then you're gonna just go left. Go left and walk. Check it. Woo! Do not get distracted. But basically, you're just gonna go left and walk to the very end of the building, to the end of the airport. Watch out, here we go. And this is for people traveling light. So if you're doing the carry-on gig, which is what I always do, this is what you're, you can do, because I doubt if you have giant luggage, you would want to do this particular route. But if you have carry-on and like a backpack or whatever, you can roll your bag all the way to the end of the building, like this. Okay, I'm gonna do a new shot. No, I'm not. I don't know. You're going to get to here and go left again. And you see that overpass there? You're gonna take it over the highway. Now, tons of people do this trick. And you basically can get cabs for way less and way less traffic and wait and and or ubers you can call them from that side of the highway and it's less i don't actually know exactly 280 or something faces and you basically just walk up the overpass with your luggage like these folks cool thing about this this might not be your first trip to Vallarta might be your very first time but I love someone actually my old landlord told me about this on the other side of the um, this uh, overpass is this amazing taco joint called Marlin tacos and they have these giant Marlin burritos and they're so fucking good they're like some of the best food I've ever had in Vallarta. I'm not even exaggerating. So, I'm out of breath now. Hold on, this way looks like. Woo! So, I think it's really fun when you get to Vallarta and you're just traveling light, you cross over, you hit up Marlin Tacos, you get one Marlin burrito and share it with a couple cold drinks. And then you're like, get into the, the vibe of Mexico. You have a snack, take half an hour, and then you can get your cab or Uber and go into the city. And just one quick note, um, when you get into the cab or Uber, they're gonna do an immediate U-turn, so don't have a heart attack, because I did. I'm like, where the hell are you going? I was going to say fuck, but I was trying to be good. But they have to do a U-turn because you actually want to go the other direction to get to Vallarta. So that's my little tip about a fun way to arrive in Vallarta. And um, I'm going to show you what Marlin Tacos looks like now. You gotta go! Woohoo! 
There's some taxi dudes. There's Marlene Taco. Taco de Marlene. This place is the shit. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. There we go. Um, so I'm in Marlin Taco right now. I'll show you what. Check this out. Wow. People probably don't want me filming them. But uh, I'm gonna have a beer and a Marlin, a Marlin burrito. You need, seriously you only need one to share with a, another buddy. And uh, have a beer and then you'll be on your way. And there's AC here, so. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, beans. Okay, let's straighten this out. Just got to Marlin Taco. They bring you this little salad of uh, veggies mixed with mayonnaise, and I've avoided it before, and I've also had it, eat it, and I it. And actually, I never died, so. Think about that. Pacifico and a limon. I'm waiting for my Marlin Taco. So I'm not going to shoot a whole bunch of um, the interior because I don't want to invade everyone's privacy. But um, what else do I need to tell you? I love this place. It's so good. Cheers. Salut. Do you know how to order a beer in Spanish? You can either say cerveza, por favor, beer please, or say the name of the beer you want. So Pacifico, Corona, Victoria, if you know. And then if you like wine with them, check it. Say con with limon. Pacifico con limon, por favor. Amazing. <laughs> It is. Oh my god. And you get um, different salsas and chipotle and mayonnaise and stuff. So don't forget to try all of them and not try to burn your mouth off. Gotta go. Sorry, I got my shades on now. These are so. <laughs> Trying not to be self conscious. Salsa verde. Yes. A little chipotle. That's burning out. And then you eat it like a salaje, which means savage. Look at this. Oh my god. So good. So good. <laughs> I think I'm going to take the other half out and have it for dinner. But this place is filling up mega fast. It's one through here. There's another room, two different AC rooms, and another room. Anyway, it's Moon Bumpola. I did, if I didn't say it before, get order a Marlin burrito. One. Or try the other side. This is the best. Okay. This is some of the yummy pastor tacos. Ooh. Really hot. And here are the other cooks. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget. Taco de Marlene. It's muy bueno. Now I have to decide if I'm taking a cab back or the bus. Because it's so effing hot today. I'm like, am I really going to take the bus? But I think I am. Because it's so much deeper. Now I'm going to cross the highway again to catch my bus. Because <laughs> I'm a local. I take the bus, okay? Okay, bye. <laughs> We gotta make a living somehow.
Thank <laughs> you. 